Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got a really, really nice and simple, yet super, super, super cute set to show you guys today. So I hope you guys like it. Um, I've realised the majority of my sets recently have been a bit more complicated and a bit more, I don't know, a lot going on. So I thought in today's video, I'll do a nice little cute and simple set. Yes, yet I still feel like it has such a like, like a bomb effect, if you know what I mean. So I hope you guys like it. So right now you see me applying a thin, nice little layer of base coat. And once that is done, I'm popping it into the lamp. I just wanted to say I've already prepped my nails, I've buffed them, and I put some nail cleaner on them. Now you see me going in with a fuchsia colour for the pinky and the thumb. And then for the remainder of the fingers, I'm just going in with this like pastel baby pink type of colour. And I'm just applying a layer of that on all the nails. And then once that's done, popping it into the lamp, coming back again, doing a second layer. All these polishes are the new ones that I swatched recently on my channel, the gel polish collection. I would like to mention that I do have a code for Maca. If you use Glamify underscore Babe, all in capitals, you will save yourself some money on their website. They have a lot of amazing things. The tips that I use on my videos and on my business are from Maca. I love that com company so much. They're so nice and cheap and very, very affordable. So it will be amazing for you guys to also use the code and save a bit of coin. I have actually recently did a big shop on their website. I spent almost £100 on there. So once that comes in, I'm going to have a lot of videos on, of like unboxings and trying the stuff out because all I've really tried are tips. I haven't actually tried any of their polishes or any of their poly gels. So I'm quite excited to try it out, especially as I've seen so many good reviews and so many like, you know, just good things. Um, I've also ordered some of their transfer gel foil things. So I've really, really been struggling with foils and I keep buying the transfer gels, but none of them are working. So I'm really, really hoping that the McCart one is good. So now I'm working on the index finger. So as you can see, what I'm doing is almost like a half French. So the top part where it's that like semi-circle thing going on, I'm only doing it to the half of the nail. Maybe not even just the half, slightly more than half, and then dragging the line all the way down to the tip of the nail. Um, as you could see, I did the first line off camera because I just could not get it straight. And it was just a problem. <laughs> um, and then once you're happy with that, pop it into the lamp. And you're basically repeating that same thing for the ring finger. So just the line down. Um, on this one, I decided to actually show you on camera. I don't know why, but I always find that the very first set that I do on camera, on any specific day, the first set that I decide to record and it involves some sort of nail art with a brush or something, I suddenly don't know how to do straight lines, but after like a minute or two, suddenly I can do it again. It's funky. Um, I guess I just like position it differently when I don't record and it's all right up in my face and like I can see everything. Um, but when I'm recording, the way everything is, it's just so awkward and uncomfortable and it's just in my way. So, so yeah. And then once both of those get in the lamp, come out and everything is cured, you're going in with a matte top coat on all the nails. Um, the reason I'm doing that now is because after I'm sugaring and I always find it so hard to um, sugar a nail and then go in with top coats and then it all just gets in your brush. And oh, even, even though I try to brush off as much glitter off as possible, the excess is still somehow ends up in there and it's frustrating. So that's one of the things I do. And then once you're happy with your top coat, I'm popping it into the lamp. The matte top coat that I am using is from Venaliza. Right, so now we have our gorgeous matte set. So basically what we are doing now, we're taking back the index finger and the ring finger that we were working on. And we are drawing again that line going from the halfway of the nail down to the tip of the nail. And then that half circle thing going on. But we're leaving a little gap in between the first line that we did and the second time. 
Um, I'm, I'm not the best at explaining that kind of part, but I'm sure you can see on the video. And then once you've drawn that, you're basically filling in the, the basically gap. Um, and then once you fill that in, before popping it into the lamp, I'm basically coating as much glitter as I can on that little piece so that when we put it into the lamp, the lamp will cure the gel polish and then all the glitter that we just caked up in that um, gel polish, it basically stays there. Which is amazing, so we're basically repeating that for both nails. I feel like this set is so cute. Um, I haven't actually taken any product pictures yet, so as soon as I'm done voicing this video, I'm going to go ahead, do some product pictures, take some pics, do some thumbnails, and I'm really excited to put it on because I feel like it's going to look just so like nice and sleek. I don't know, like it's simple, but I just find it so cute and sleek and elegant to a degree. I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but that's my little opinion on that. Okay, so once you're happy with the other two, pop them into the lamp. And now we can work on the middle finger. So for that one, I, I thought I would keep it nice and sweet and simple. So I recently got these like neon crystals. So I thought I would play about with them, incorporate them somehow into the set. And I'm just basically creating a line going from the middle. But the line doesn't go directly from the top to the bottom, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm just doing pink, silver, pink crystals. And yeah, I'm sure you guys can see what I'm doing in the video. But I just feel like it came out so well and so nice. And then with a brush, I'm just brushing away all of the glitter, excess glitter that you have. And then here is your final set. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.